Bill, I must warn you, things are looking scary. I may have peed my pants from fright. I love life off the grid. I'm so glad I gave up the grid. I can't ever see a reason to go back. So, Spencer's gone. Benny has been developing his art, and his girlfriend Stacy has appointed herself resident interior decorator. And Franklin has been eating a lot. <laughs> this is so absurd, there's only one person to call. My dad. Key man. Jason Statham. No, Spencer. Oh, yeah! Hello, this is Spencer Adams, formerly of Stop the Bleeding, currently living off the grid. How may I help you? Spencer, listen, it's me. We have a big problem. You have a big piranha? Why would I have a big piranha? Problem. Problem. Oh, sorry. I don't get good reception in my tent. Can you leave the tent for a minute? It's too dangerous. Oh, you'll never believe me if I try to explain this. I just need you to hear me. We need you here, okay? Stop the Bleeding needs you here, now. Well, then I'm on my way. But strap in. Ration, if you must. I don't know how long it'll take, but I'm on my way. Just hurry! The heated air rises along the equator and flows away north and south to cooler parts of the world. Yeah. Because it's warm, oh, it carries hey, with it a lot of moisture. But as it rises and cools, the moisture condenses first to form clouds and then to fall as rain. Wait, that was... Where did you come from? My tent. Your beard is... Hair flourishes in the wild. You were only gone for three days. <laughs> Calendars are so on the grid. But I am just too tired for this. It's good to see you, buddy. Sante Sana. That's tribal. So what's up? <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> Hi, Franklin. <clears throat> Guy is such an attention sponge. How long has he been like this? Weeks. No, like an hour. And we have no idea what caused it? None. All right, Frankie, let's do this. Hey, look, free coffee. Oh, God. Wait, no! no! Hey, 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 I need to do this. No, 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 no. This is between me and the zombie. Oh, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Seriously? I'm not even good enough for you and you're a zombie? No, wait, 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 Spencer, Spencer. Maybe there's something about you that's different that, that protects you from him. Like what? I don't know. <gasps> My tattoos! Zombie Franklin hates tattoos! No, no, I have tattoos. No, yeah, I got tons right here. I'm covered in ink. I have a daisy on my ankle. <laughs> Wait, Spencer, how do you have tattoos? What about your hemophilia? Oh, Jackie. Most people with hemophilia can get tattoos. They just need to check in with their doctor and make sure they're taking proper precautions. <laughs> Hey guys, look! You seem to have encountered it. What was it eating? Ah, uh, let's see, it was eating a Snickers, a Milky Way, a cheeseburger, a hot dog. Oh my god, oh no, that's 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 right by my Etsy warehouse. You think the zombies are in the mark for vintage Norwegian wedding dresses? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, nice catch. Ricky Henderson over here. Okay, okay. Oh, my store. No, no, I'll handle it. You stay here. Be careful. Always. Oh, it comes roastingly hot during the day. Gotta go, gotta go. Zombies aren't going after anyone with bleeding disorders. But how would they know who has a bleeding disorder? Funny, you should ask, Benny. People with bleeding disorders wear medic alert IDs so that in case of an emergency, first responders can identify their condition and provide proper life-saving support, such as giving them factor to stop the bleeding. <laughs> Stop the <laughs> Stop the <laughs> Stop the Stop the <laughs> Stop the <laughs> Stop the <laughs> Stop the <laughs> Stop the Stop the Stop Stop the Stop the Stop the Stop 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 the Stop the Eddie, welcome. This is Zena and Fillmore. Your name is Zena and Fillmore? Those are our apocalypse identities. So what? Did you guys like name yourself that this morning? Correct. 
the news just keeps playing the same thing over and over and over. Well, you know cable news these days. They gotta fill in 24 hours of news every day. Have you guys seen that Kittens Fighting Puppies video? Oh. oh. We met just after everything started going down. I just learned that people with bleeding disorders are being ignored by the horde. Apparently zombies don't like people whose blood already doesn't clot properly. Then suddenly, this figure appeared. I asked, hey, how you doing? She said, I am now Xena, and you handsome man I see shall hereafter be the beautiful Fillmore. So she just gave you guys these names? I just said- And you said... didn't even ask why or anything like that? Like Dude, you just can, read... can I finish my story, bro? Xena started eyeing my bling. What are your credentials? Hemophilia B, severe, with inhibitors. Yours? Hemophilia A, moderate, no inhibitors. And Von Wallabrand. We've been surviving down here ever since. Okay, so how do we stop this thing? Xena has a theory. Balance. Hi, this is Spencer Adams, once again president of- Hey, it's Eddie. You guys learn anything else about this thing? No, we kind of got distracted watching YouTube videos. Hey, did you hear about that guy with the two? Listen, there was a pack of zombies down in the lobby, okay? You guys need to get off YouTube and get back to work, okay? And listen, I think that stopping this thing has something to do with balance. Balancing what? I don't know, but you need to figure it out fast. Eddie? He's gone. <gasps> what happened? Oh, he's fine. He just had to go. But he gave me a great clue. Hey, would you rewind it? We missed my favorite part. Oh. Hey, thanks for watching season three, episode two of Stop the Bleeding. Got a couple more zombies and a couple new characters showed up in this one. Don't forget to share this episode on Facebook and on Twitter, on Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube, and spread the word about Stop the Bleeding. And also keep an eye out, we're gonna have some fun behind the scenes footage coming real soon. Can you describe how you feel right now? Action. Bill, I must warn you, things are looking scary. I may have uh, I definitely peed my pants from fright. Let's see what the eyewitness has to say. Okay, Billy, te tengo que advertir. Las cosas se están poniendo bien scary. Puede que haya hecho algunas cosas que no se deben mencionar en televisión en mis pantalones. Demasiada información. And then I tripped, and the monster came over me, and I was like, oh my gosh. Are you okay now? Yeah, I kind of hurt my knee. Oh, I'm sorry. So can you tell me how you feel? I'm really scared, like I peed in my pants, like I'm soaked. I was gonna punch one of them, but they scared up the tree like like real fast. That tree, you sure they ain't squirrels? No. I was walking, I turned, I think someone's following me. I turned around and I see two weird looking monsters. I'm like, ah! Do you have anything that you want to say? I mean, they were like big and freaky, they were green. I was just outside running, just doing dog, yeah. I turned around, I was like, oh my goodness, what is that? The monster kept coming, and he was like, oh, So then I started running, and then I stole this guy's car. But then... <laughs> Don't tell the police. Yes, exactly. So then I was driving in the car, and then the monster jumped on the back of the car. But I thought they were slow. They were, but they could have jumping. You don't like things that are green, right? No! ¿Qué usted piensa acerca del ataque? What? ¿Qué usted piensa acerca del ataque? On a scale of 1 to 10, did you start off at a trickle when you peed your pants, or was it a full-on gusher? On a scale of 1 to 10? Scale of 1 to 20. 11. Understandable. This just in, I have no underwear. Can I go? Yeah, you can go. I can't believe this, y'all. Back to you, Bill. <laughs> <laughs>